So currently our project actually has quite a few bugs with the menu system and room listing and player listing. And I'm going to showcase some of them here. If I create a room and I call it whatever, it doesn't matter, and I create it, it shows up in this list. But if I leave the room, it doesn't disappear from this list. And that's a problem. If I create another room, it'll be replaced with the room I just created. But also the player list item that we had previously instantiated is not removed from this list. So if I ever create a new room and go back to that menu, they're never destroyed. So every time I create a new room, it doesn't destroy the previous players from the room and they're all stacked up here. So in this episode, we're going to be fixing those two bugs as well as one of the bugs in the menu manager that I found. So let's start with fixing the player list bug. So in our launcher class here, when we join a room, I just want to for each transform child in player list content destroy child game object. And that will just clear all the players in our player list content. And now when we join a room, it's just going to delete all the previous player list items. And it'll be a fresh clean slate for us to instantiate the new ones. So go into your room list item script and we're going to make this public. We're going to make room info public so that we can access it from our launcher. When we're looping through our room list here, I'm just going to check if room list i dot removed from list. If it is, we're just going to continue, which means we just skip this and continue on to the next item in the loop. Because as it turns out in Photon's room list, it doesn't remove rooms from the list that have been removed from the list. It actually just sets this bool to true when they're removed from the list. So we just have to check that. And if that room has been removed from the list, then we can just not instantiate it again. And that'll fix the problem with the room list. Now in our menu manager here, this isn't as much of a bug as it is just slightly a performance issue that I want to touch on. In our string method, when we call open menu, it's actually calling this whole loop again, which we already have here. So we don't need that. So I think what we actually want to change this to is just menus i dot open. And then we're not calling this function again. We're just directly calling the menus open method to open it. So if we run it now, it should still should still all work. Yep, menu navigation still works, so that's good. Also, a shortcut to build the game, just press Control b when you're in the editor, and it'll automatically build it to your previous build folder and run it. So now, I were to create a room here and find it in this list. If I leave this room, you can see that it disappears from the list. And if I create another, you can see that we only have our current player list here, and none of the other players from previous rooms. And they all get removed from the other room list when we leave the room or if we close the window. And that's it for the episode.